baby? Go bye bye. And I was also Bunsen Honeydew. But if you don't listen to me, I'm gonna make your sister disappear. So I get a lot of voice. I like voiceover work because you don't have to wear pants. <laughs> That's a little too much information, although half the people here aren't wearing pants right now. <laughs> so yeah, I was I did all those voices. But Bobby is like near and dear to me. Bobby came out of my stand-up act and throughout the 90s I did Bobby's World. And How I would watch Bobby's World. Yeah. Bobby's World. I want to try to do it again. I want to bring it back. I either want to do a movie or relaunch the series because his his whole thing was he, he kind of reflected in his mind on pop culture. And pop culture is so rich now that I think now is the time. And that's actually why I wanted to be here today to kind of make a, a, a big announcement that I'm going to work toward bringing Bobby's world back. And I want you to... And I want to keep you up to date. I'm, I'm at a booth, I'm, and I'm signing. I know that people charge. I don't charge. I'm going to be signing things Come on. for free. And what I want you to do is I want you to join our new Bobby's World mailing list online. I'm at 18, where am I, 18? <laughs> Next to the photo booth, right in front of Autograph Alley. Like near at the 1800s, you'll see there's a Bobby's World there. If you guys sign up and give us your email, I'll email you and give you updates on it because I'm going to do this slow rollout to Bobby's World and I'd like everybody to be part of it. Wow. So this, I'm going to be over there, I'll sign for free and just join, give us your email and I'll send you all the information on all our upcoming events. Will you do that? Yeah! Who wants to see more Bobby's World? Come yeah! On. That's awesome. 14. It's 14 people. <laughs> We're gonna, need, how? We're, we're gonna need that. double that. We're gonna need double that. If you get to 50, you can have Bobby's World Con. Bobby's World Con. Yes. Do it right here. No, I, I would like Bobby's World to be part of Stan Lee's deal. You here. are always welcome. Well. Thank you. Absolutely. What would Bobby say about Game of Thrones? <laughs> well, first of all, he wouldn't understand, right? He, he's always got Nobody to... does. Game of Thrones would be a game that you play in the men's room. He would have no idea what... <laughs> Fantastic. That is huge news coming out of Stanley's Kamikaze Expo. More Bobby's World up yes. ahead of us. Yes. And you also, now I want to talk a little bit about recently, I, 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 I think you were America's most beloved game show host. I am. I, I, I think so, don't you? Yeah. Right here, right now, today. <laughs> so, yes. um, what's the secret to being such a good host? I don't know. I, there was no secret. I did, I, you know, I did Deal or No Deal. And uh, I think I was lucky enough to be asked to do an amazing game. And when I say amazing, there was no skill involved. There was no trivia. It was actually, you know, just uh, choosing a case. In fact, also at our booth, we have Crystal, one of the actual deal or no deal models. She was the actual 22 in all the episodes. So she's here today. I, I don't know. I just think that people watching their dreams come true and, and just by you and me could do it. We don't have to be an expert in geography or know anything. You just have to pick the right case. And I think that's what worked. And I have empathy. You know, I, I meet the, ho the, the the contestant who, you know, didn't have rent money, didn't have insurance, had three kids. And I, more than them, was hoping and praying that they would win the money. And I think people at home were going, no, don't pick that case, don't pick that case. So uh, just having the feeling and wanting people to win, I think worked for me and worked for the show. And uh, Deal or No Deal was a, a fun, crazy show to do, yeah. There's a, a clear through line from Deal or No Deal into Bob, into your current show, which I want to talk about, to deal with it, where you have people, I, I, when I think of you on TV, you're putting people in real life-changing moments that are genuine, filled with emotion. You've changed people's lives for the last 10 years on TV. What is that like, and in, 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 does that motivate you? Well, you know, for me, the uh, when I first became, you know, my parents, when I was growing up, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and my, my uh, I used to hear my parents in the living room laughing at whatever they were watching on TV or whatever album they were playing, and I wanted to be part of that laughter and part of that, and I, and I, I was too little, I was like three or four years old, and I went in, I would listen, I didn't get the jokes, I didn't really understand, 
the first thing I remember seeing is Alan Funk, The Candid Camera. And that was the very first hidden camera show. And I thought, even as a kid, I understand what's going on. This is kind of funny. I understand what's going on. He, Alan Fudd said, we're going to hire a girl to answer phones, and we're going to tie the rope to the desk. And every time the phone rings and she goes to answer it, we're going to pull the desk away. And I couldn't wait to see how she would react. And I got to talk to my parents about, oh, my, this is great. Wait till the phone rings. What's going to happen? I felt like I was in on the party. This was like the ultimate surprise party. And then when I said, this is what I want to do, and I ended up going to school and trying to prank people and do that, I, I had no friends. I, people, I didn't realize you needed a TV show and an audience, but I love people, real people, acting in reality. That's what I liked about Stan Lee's comics, because they were real people. And I like things that aren't scripted, and when something really means something to somebody, whether it's embarrassing, awkward, surprising, if they're being gift, given a life-changing message like they were unmobbed or they open a case and the amount of money that they end up getting is going to change their lives forever, there's nothing more exciting and real than that. And that's the kind of TV I do, those are the kind of shows that I do, and they got to be real. And Bobby's World was real. It worked for me because they said to me, I was doing that voice and I was doing Gremlins and I was doing all those cartoons and I... And they said, will you do a Saturday morning cartoon? And I said, I, I don't know what I could draw from. All the stories were real. They either happened to me, my kids, you know, they were all real things that happened. And if you remember, it, you know, it, it, it started with the mundane. He'd go to the dentist, but he'd be off in his fantasy. And I can't tell you how many times a day I'm off on a I'm talking to you right now, but <laughs> the pictures I'm seeing, I don't even want to talk about, but we're close. But there's some costumes right up front that I can't. <laughs> But, you know, it's great that you talk about real, and, and you, you touched on it. That's what Stan Lee's characters were. And I think that's probably why you resonate so strongly with this audience, I think, because this show, as much as it is about cosplay, I think you all agree, it's about real. It's about what you guys love, right? It's about the real moments that you guys have. And so thank you, on behalf of all of us, for creating such wonderful moments in, of entertainment television, right? Well, thank you. Again, please, sit down. That's not necessary. <laughs> That is amazing. So now you also... A standing ovation. This is the longest standing ovation I've ever had in my life. <laughs> in addition to, uh, to the revival of Bobby's World, which I can't wait for, uh, you also have a show that just went back on the air, Deal With It? Deal With It on TBS Friday nights. You should tweet me at Howie Mandel. I tweet live during all my projects. It's a hidden camera comedy game show. I just alluded to the fact that I love hidden camera because it's real. It's hidden camera, it's comedy, it's game. All the three things I love all in one. For those that haven't seen it, it's uh, we go into a restaurant, we set up cameras and microphones so we can watch you like the NSA and then we clean who the people are by what they're talking about. That's a father-daughter, those are workmates. And then we'll send some uh, waiter out to say, you know, you want a free lunch? If you do, to fill, just come fill out a survey, one of you. And they come to the back and we go, no, it's actually a game show. You can win $5,000 if you want to play. We're going to put an earpiece in you. We'll send you back out into the restaurant. You can't let the person you know, you're you with know they're on a game show or anybody in the restaurant. And you just got to do what the celebrity tells you to do for the money. So they're sitting there with their mother and then we say, you know, for $500, Two tables over, somebody's eating a piece of chocolate cake. I want you to get up, walk over, slam your face into their cake, and keep it there until I tell you to for $500. And it's so much fun, even for us producing, and hopefully for the people watching, and all the crew, just to go, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And if he does do it, look how his mother's reacting. Look how the people do it. And again, that's the reality. You know, I like to base everything I do in reality, and that is... So that is Deal With It on TBS, uh, Friday nights at 9 o'clock. Don't miss it. Tweet at me, at Howie Mandel, and we'll tweet along live as the show goes on. And are you guys going to tune in and watch? Yeah. It's awesome. 60. And I also want to say that uh, in terms of tweeting, you mentioned you're, you're, you're very active on Twitter. I'm very active. You're, uh, who saw him tweeting on AGT and America's Got Talent? For those of you who know. I tweeted I would be here today. Thank you very much. They all came. Because of my tweet? I don't think so. I think. What's your Twitter handle for everyone to At Howie Mandel. I'd like to think I came up with the name, but I think my parents did. They named you that? That's what ass I came up with. I see what you did there. You're a nut. You're really a nut. Uh, and uh, well, we're very excited. What was the booth? The, you're over in the booth with Bobby 18. Rowe. Does somebody know my booth number? 1816. 
I will be signing for free. You can see Crystal, one of the real deal or no deal models. There's a walk around Bobby's world. Bobby is there. There's a deal or no deal machine, so you can play the machine. And we are also having, if you sign up and you give us your email so we can give you, we can update you, we are going to have a raffle. And I have signed one of the original cells from Bobby's World, from the animated show that was on Fox. And somebody is going to win that cell. So come to the booth, meet me. You've already met me, but talk to me. Have me sign. I'm not charging a thing. Meet Bobby, play Deal or No Deal, and look at the lovely crystal from uh, Deal or No Deal. So there's so many things to do. I don't know why I stepped forward to say that. But you look right to it. They are all waiting to be on camera. It's really funny. Oh, you're on camera? You can see yourselves? See, that's what they're doing. Yeah, see, that's what they're doing. Oh, there they are. Oh, wow. Well, that's I amazing. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I feel like I should just let you go for the next time. No, I won't. But it's fascinating. But everybody, let's take a, 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 a warm round of applause to thank Kai Mandel for coming out of our show. I'm going to 1816. Hi, how are you? Go to 1816. I'll meet everybody. Everybody. And you'll meet Bobby and Crystal. Give us your email and we will update you. Just go over there, start heading over there and start signing up because you got to sign your email and then I meet you. And you could win a Bobby's World cell, a reel from the original show, I signed it, of Bobby. It's a great piece of art and a nice collector's item. And it's suitable for framing. Pardon me? Suitable for framing. Suitable for framing, yes. aren't we all? <laughs> Thank you very much. How are you?